know, wake up. It's Sunday. It's time for the Sunday Showcase. Endo. Hello. Wake up. Oh, thanks, Aaron. Can you give me five minutes? Oh, is Aaron your iPhone now? You gonna hit the snooze button on me? Should I wake you up in five minutes like an iPhone? Da -da -dee, da -dee, da -dee, wake up time. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna use my map app and go ahead and give you directions to some talent because you don't have any. So get up okay, and go okay, do up. your Sunday I'm up, I'm showcase. Up, I'm up, I'm up. Ooh, welcome back. Today I dragged myself out of bed thanks to Aaron to go ahead and give you a showcase Sunday. And keeping in the theme of the whole seaplane thing with Captain Miro, I'm going to be showing you Captain Miro's uh, workshop items. Well, not all of them, but some of them. And, of course, he released a new one today, so we're going to go ahead and leave that for last. So, let's get started. So, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this seaplane, which was the first one he did based off of Tony's um, original Catalina. And so, he changed it, tweaked it to make it advanced, and, of course, to uh, float and land on the water and take off on the water. So this is the original. Of course, he graduated to making the smaller version. And you'll see it has shorter cut-off wings. We flew that in the video, and I'll go ahead and link to the other video that you can see um, some tips how to build seaplanes and, you know, how to fly this one. All right, here we have the next one, which is the, I think it's called the Albatross. I could be wrong. But here is this one, a larger version again. And then we're going to go ahead and change gears and look at the trains. Now, the trains are interesting because I think, and I could be wrong, but I think Captain Miro was the first one to implement the steam engine uh, giant train wheels. I don't know what they're called right now, but uh, larger wheels on the train. And this was a hype train, and he actually made this before the train update ever came out. So he had this working, driving around on just blocks using the physics of the game and of course it has the piston here and then when the uh, train update came out he went ahead and made a proper steam engine and these are <laughs> actually my real art here that I made for the uh, Polar Express but as you can see oh, the down helicopter was not saved so as you can see we have a working steam train in the game and I think there's tons of them now on the workshop you can check that out but he also just released this one, which is a nice arctic version. Ooh, it's making noises. I'm not sure why. But a very nice looking train. And I believe this one, I don't know why it's making noises, but it comes complete for the arctic with heaters. Let's look inside. There's the heaters. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know why it's making noise. Very odd. Firebox. Not quite done. But yeah, very cool. Let's walk away from this thing. It's making too much noise. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the final plane, which is the Marshall, I believe. And this one is using heavy rotors. It's using, I'm going to say the wrong name for these things, uh, ASF, maybe? ADS? AFD? I don't know. But these little things here, there is a workshop, and I'm going to link to it, that has all the bombs and attachments that will work on these, um, what do you call it, these rails here. So if you want to add some bombs or fuel tanks, you can do that, and I will link to the workshop in the description below. But let's go ahead and check this out, because I haven't seen it since it's done. And uh, ooh, we got our nice fuel connectors here. Now, is this gonna be a push button to open, or just a regular old open? Oh, I don't have to hold it. Love it. Okay, cool. So let's look at the cockpit. All right. This one has multiple seats. Little multiple jobs. GPS. Hmm. Might be for the water tanks and stuff. It's already ready for the Arctic with heaters. And of course, oh, uh, this is a hold one. We have the turret here, in which we can playfully move it around. Very cool. Let me go ahead and go to the back. And get through the back here. Oh, there we go. Okay, and push the button. And now we have the compartment where we can open the doors, maybe? Let's try this. There we go. And then, of course, we could lower the winch with a magnet on it and pull up something. 
Very cool. And then we can go to the back here. Okay. Okay, and this, I remember this one. Oh, let's see here. Let's say lift. Oh, we can go up here. And I think we control that turret right there. Let's try it. There it goes. We're controlling the water turret. Very cool. And then we pump. There goes the water. Huh. Yay! Put out the fires. Okay. Very cool. Oh, look at this. That's kind of cool. I haven't seen that before. Huh. Who is this? Where'd you get this idea? Is this your idea? Is this from Rowan? I can't tell. Rowan's pretty creative with the guns. But if this is all your idea, Meryl, very cool. Like the bullets. Very nice. Huh. It's very good. I like that. I need to update some of my stuff now. Oh. Alright, so let's go ahead and hit the back. And here we have some more ways of getting out of the plate. Yep. And more Arctic gear. A little window here. And we're going to go back. And now we're in, oh, a bedroom. Very cool. And I guess this puts us on top of the wings. Okay, so... Oh, okay. I was in the side guns. I got lost. So I didn't even notice. These were the side guns, and I guess the observation ones are gone? Hmm. I had thought there was like two observations. I guess he changed that. Okay, very cool. So this is a slight modification from the version that we last looked at, I believe. So, very cool. And uh, you can see all of the other work that he's done on his workshop, which is linked in the description below. Um, I'm slowly starting to feel better, so hopefully I can get my groove back and uh, have Aaron stop yelling at me as well. All right, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me for Showcase Sunday. I'll leave links in the description to the original seaplane video where you can find tips on how to build these. And of course, a link to Captain Miro's workshop where you can check his other creations out and of course, download these. I'll see you next time. Hopefully tomorrow. Bye. Where's my bed? Oh, I think there's a bed in here. Uh, let me in. Let me in. Oh my gosh. That robot, he's a pain in the butt. And where's my bed? Oh, bed, bed, bed. Oh, thank you. I tell you what, I'm gonna use my app map. Map map? <laughs> uh, I'll try again. Oh, so is Aaron your iPhone now? Should I go ahead and, you know, I don't know. Uh, no, I lost myself. Take 345. Your five minutes are up. Wake up. No, Endo. Go ahead and wake up now. Ah, uh, I don't like this one. I don't like this one. Let's try it one more, one more time. One more time. It's kind of hard. Okay. <sighs> oh, no. I'll tell you what, Endo. I'm going to go ahead and open my map app and go ahead and give you directions some ta for some talent because you can't, you don't have any. Oh. Time. Oh, is Aaron your iPhone now? Are you gonna hit snooze? Ugh.